Hey guys, Nicole Spinoza with The Short Sale Queen. And today I wanted to hop on the channel to do a quick video to answer the question if you have to be licensed, if you have to have a real estate license to be able to get into short sales, to be able to process. Uh, we get this uh, question a lot through our short sale classes as well as on the comments on our case studies and the different videos that I put out on here. So let's break it down and let's get into it. All right, so before we get into today's video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, if you are getting any value from the channel, you know, definitely let me know in the comments where you're watching from. We love seeing um, interaction from all over the country. And if you guys have any questions, because we are currently going through all the questions on the channel from the different videos to see how we can add value um, and really talk about you know what you want to know. So today I want to talk about whether you have to have a real estate license in order to process a short sale. So I'm going to give you um, the simple answer is no. You don't have to have a real estate license to be able to process short sales, but you do have to have a real estate license to be able to represent a homeowner in a short sale. So let me explain. So we have investors and investment companies that used to process their own short sales and facilitate the transaction. And this was years ago. And what happens is if you are the investor or the buyer, as well as the uh, person that is facilitating and negotiating, um, that's an immediate red flag for the lender. Um, they, it, it violates the arm's length affidavit that everybody in the transaction will have to sign. Um, and the reason why is because it's a conflict of interest, right? If you're trying to purchase the property, of course you're going to negotiate to try and get the lowest value and no one's really looking out for the homeowner. In addition to that, you have to be a licensed agent to have MLS, which is the multiple listing service access, as well as, you know, access to, you know, the, just the process, right? An agent knows how to facilitate the transaction. Um, and you have to have a listing agreement as part of the short sale paperwork that the lender requires. So back in the day, you could get away with it, but in the last, you know, six to seven years, they do require an agent to represent the homeowner. So if you are looking to negotiate your own short sales and process your own short sales, I highly, highly advise you either getting your license or partnering up with a licensed agent where they can be the agent and you can be the one processing it. But how do you get paid? Right. And so this is always um, the difficult part because back in the day you could charge a negotiation fee and there are still some companies that do that. They'll charge it to um, the buyer or they'll try to uh, charge the bank and a lot of things have changed. First of all, the bank does not pay negotiation fees, uh, which is why a lot of those companies don't exist anymore. And it's very difficult to get the buyer to pay for negotiations, especially, um, you know, it's not standard uh, fee as part of, as part of the transaction. So the best way, if you're going to build a business doing short sales and you want to represent the homeowner, get your license. It's very simple. Um, if you are just looking to process the short sales and that's why you're wanting to do everything in-house, team up with an agent. Understand that you can't be the buyer and the agent or you can't be the buyer and the one processing and communicating. It's good if you're an investor and you're like, hey, we want to do all of this in-house. It's good to do that because you know, you'll be able to control the transaction. You have the knowledge to be able to facilitate the process and really know the questions to ask, right? Because when you start outsourcing, you know, that's where balls start getting dropped and things like that, but you can't do both and you have to disclose it to the bank. And if you don't disclose it to the bank, you know, that could be considered fraud. So there is a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it. And it's very important that you do get your license or at least partner with someone on your team. Um, you know, to be able to do it. But if you're going to do it long term, get your real estate license. Um, we have a ton of education. Our our boot camp is January 6th uh, for people that are wanting to process short sales um, and get that you know, breakdown of how to do it from start to finish. Uh, we have our manual, um, our short sale manual that we've literally 
in 2020, me and Stephanie Parks just dumped everything that we know into it. It's over 300 pages. Um, and we also have a, our you know YouTube channel that you guys are on right now, and that's free education. So if you guys are wanting to learn more, um, definitely feel free to reach out. Um, all of our information, even scheduling a call with me, I invite you to uh, put yourself on my calendar if you are a realtor that's wanting to learn from us or partner up with us because we do have a nationwide network. Um, or if you're an investor that's wanting to partner and have us uh, facilitate the process and negotiate the short sales on your behalf. Um, put yourself on my calendar and reach out. We'd love to, to connect and partner with you. And hopefully this answered that question and let us know what else you want to see on the channel so we can start creating content um, that you find valuable or of value. Until next time, as always, you can always join our free Facebook group, the only short sale group we're being a part of. I'll see you guys next time.